the side splits is ax kick stretch number one however it's done this way like i'm doing here with your head towards the ground all the way towards the ground that's an equivalent of you bringing your leg all the way up with the proper ax kick now the first one is a stretch kick not a real ax kick second one out to in ax kick third one in to out ax kick now we'll go to the advanced ones jumping ax kick and last but not least my personal favorite tornado ax kick those are the five basic and advanced axe kicks okay now you do want to bring your head like i said all the way down to the knee and pass the ground like the picture on the left now this right here i fixed for mr van damme this is the way it should be the kick like you guys see in this picture i fixed it but it's not like this instead we get this i guess that's okay if you're kicking some stick out of some fool's hand in a movie like time cop I guess it's okay if you're kicking some fool's leg who's got his foot stuck with a knife on the door for no apparent reason whatsoever. Or, like in No Retreat, No Surrender, the guy's ducking. In those cases, I guess the kick would be alright. But the reality is that those axe kicks that Van Damme throws in his movies are pretty much worthless. I mean, you guys can go back and watch these movies. But the reality is, where you guys see that I screenshot it, that's the limit of how high his kick goes. And I haven't yet seen Van Damme bring his head towards his knee or past his knee inside a side split. So yes, Van Damme is flexible, but he's not flexible enough, nor skilled enough, nor trained enough to pull off real axe kicks. Another thing to notice with Van Damme's axe kick is that he only does it with left. Side splits as well, he's only doing it with left. This means he probably cannot do it with right. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking... But Master AJ, you just did the axe kick only with left leg yourself. That is true. I only did it with left leg. And I did it with left leg because my left leg is better than my right leg with this kick. That said, I still train my right leg a lot as I will show you guys in these clips right here. Here, I am stretching my legs with the right leg up front which is the equivalent of doing a right axe kick. Now this is the stretch that hurts me the most. This is how I'm the least flexible. Nevertheless, I still train it a lot as you guys will see here. I push my foot, I throw that kick, even though I might be sore for days after that. Nobody ever said that martial arts training and kick training doesn't hurt. It will hurt. I'm always in pain. I'm always sore. I'm always training. This is a reality of athletes that nobody will tell you. You will always be in pain if you're going to take it to the high level because you will. there is a fine edge between professionalism and athleticism and injury. It's a fine line. You got to know your body and know how to stay in between, in between these lines, especially when it comes with kicking. Yeah.